In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a one minute film clip for Caloundra Tourism where we're just promoting some of the beaches and the Caloundra area in general. I'll play a bit of the video now of what we're going to be making and you can see what we have to do to get started. Let's turn my volume up here. So I've got a nice title that appears, then the camera pans across, and then it gets stuck into a few different clips of the Caloundra region. That goes on for a few more seconds, and then we get a narration or a voiceover appear. Kalandra is an aquatic paradise where you and your family can enjoy a wide range of water activities like kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. You get the idea. Okay, we've got about another 30 seconds of that where we see some different clips of Kalandra, and another narration comes in just towards the end. Okay, so I'll just minimise that now, and we can get ourselves started. So I'm on my Mac computer today, so I might look a little bit different to the usual Windows computer, but hopefully you can still make sense of what I'm doing. To get started, I want you to make a new folder up in your account somewhere called Caloundra Beaches. You can see the name of that just across the top of this window here. Inside of that Caloundra Beaches folder, we're going to bring in all the different components we need to put this video together. Okay, so a couple of things I've got here. I've got two audio tracks. One of them is the background music. A deep joke have come up with a song called Truth. There's no singing in it as far as I know. It's just some um, nice music to go in the background. And we've also got the voiceover or the narration. And that's just me talking about uh, the Caloundra area. If you do want to record your own voiceover, which I do recommend, all you need to do is get a microphone, plug it into your computer, and record what's written in this spoken text document. It's only two small paragraphs. Um, also in here we've got the Sunshine Coast tourism logo which we're going to use at the end of the video it's nice and big high quality and we've got another folder here called video clips and inside of that when we open it up we've got all the different uh, clips that we're going to use to piece our one minute movie together okay so once you've got all those bits and bobs into your account we're ready to start making our video okay so the program we're using today is Adobe Premiere Pro it's quite easy to use once you know the basics, and that's what we're going to be covering in this video. When you load up Premiere Pro, you're greeted by this splash screen. I need you to make a new project, so click on the New Project option. Just minimise that window for a moment. Now, in the New Project uh, window, this box will appear, and you need to give your project a name. So at the top there, instead of Untitled, let's just give it the name Calandra Beaches. And the Location. Okay, you need to go and choose yourself a location on where to save uh, this project. So I've made the folder Calandra Beaches, I'm just going to save it in there. Okay, so I'm going to choose that Calandra Beaches folder, and you can see the fire path now where I'm going to save this project. All the other settings you can just leave as they are, and you can click on OK. When you click on OK, you will get all your windows come up here. I might just strip this out a little bit so I've got a little bit more room to work with. Alrighty, we've got lots of different windows here. Okay, what I'm going to get you to do, we've got different views. As we go through making this video, you're going to see that we click across the tabs at the top here. Okay, so we can go to editing view, we can go to the color view, effects, audio. There's all sorts of different views you can have. I'm just going to get you to start, I might get you to start on the assembly tab. Okay, just while we get our project all set up. When you click on the assembly tab, hopefully you've got a box over here that tells us to import media to start. Okay, this is the box where we're going to bring in all our videos and sounds and whatnot that are going to go into our little movie. Before we do that though, what we're going to do is create some folders to put all our bits and pieces in so there's some sort of logical structure over here and we don't just get lost in a whole bunch of different files. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something called a bin. Now, bin is another word for a folder in Premiere. and Basically, you use bins to store all your files. So down the bottom here, we've got this little folder, and when you hover over it, it says New Bin. If you just click on that, you'll see a new bin or a new folder appear. We're just going to rename that bin. I'm going to call it Video Clips. Now, in this bin, I want to put all the video clips that we're going to be using in our little movie. Okay, so back into my account here, in the video clips folder, you can see all the different video clips we're going to use. Now you can go through different menus to import those videos into that bin, but the quickest way to do it is just highlight or select all of those videos and simply drag them into the video clips folder. Okay, it will just take a moment to process, but you'll see all the video clips now are in that folder. And you can minimize that folder by hitting that little arrow just next to it. Okay, you can drop it down to see everything. We'll close it up. 
Alright, so I'm going to make another bin now. So let's go back down the bottom and make another new bin. This one's going to be called Audio. Remember we had two audio tracks that we can bring into this. We've got the background music and we've got the voiceover. So just select those two audio tracks and drag and drop them into the audio folder. Okay, so when you open up the audio folder now, you can see the two different audio tracks. All right, so we've got our audio, our videos in. We've got one image that we want to bring in, so I'm going to make another bin called Images. And that image was that Sunshine Coast Tourism logo. Okay, remember that one? So just simply pick it up, drag it, and drop it into your Images bin. And we're going to make one more bin now. So back down the bottom here, create one more bin called Titles. Alrighty, we haven't got anything to put into the titles just yet, but at the start of our video, we're going to have a little title pop up. And at the end, we're going to have a title as well. All right, and we're going to work on those shortly. And when we do make them, we'll save them into the appropriate bin. Now, to get started, what we need to do next is pretty much drag a video clip into our timeline here and create a sequence. You can see the little caption saying drop media here to create a sequence. When we make a movie, we're basically creating a sequence. OK, so I'm going to go over to my video clips folder here. I've got the list of all the video clips, and I'm going to look for one which is called King's Views. It's down near the bottom here, the second last one. All right, I'm simply going to pick that up and drag it over to where it says the drop media here to create a sequence. Now, when you do that, you're going to see a few changes take place on your screen. Okay, you can see a timeline appears down the bottom here that shows how long our movie goes for. At the moment, it's going for some 15 seconds. We're going to go up to the one minute mark, remember? And above that, you can get a preview of what your movie is going to look like. Okay, so you've got your controls here. I'll just go back a bit. You can press play. You can watch it. You can even hear a bit of sound there of the beach. Okay, so that brings me to the first issue we've got. We've got some sound here of the beach, which I don't want in the video. Okay, so back down in our timeline here, you can see the first clip. It's quite small at the moment, so to zoom in, you've got this horizontal scroll bar down here, which you can click and drag. If you drag it to the left, you zoom in. If you drag it to the right, you zoom out. Let's just drag it to the left so we zoom in a bit, and you get a close-up view of this clip. Okay, you'll see that the clip is split into two sections. One is on the V1 layer, which is the video layer. And then below that, we've got the A1 layer, which is the audio track. Okay, and it's attached to that video clip. What you can do is just click on this clip once and then right click on it with your mouse and choose the unlink option and that will separate the video from the audio so now you can drag the video around but the audio just sits where it is okay so if you just want to hear the sound of the beach you actually could okay but in this case what i want to do is actually delete this bottom track the audio track so just select it and press delete on your keyboard and it will disappear and you're left now just moving that back along the timeline. You're left now with a video of King's Beach with no audio. And that's what I'm looking for. Remember, we're going to put music in the background in a moment. Alrighty. So that's looking good. Next thing I want to do, before I put the music in, I want to create a title that goes across the top of this clip. Okay, so when the movie starts, you might have just noticed I was using this little blue scrub bar here to scrub through my video. That's what that's called there. So you can scrub through your video a bit quicker using that little blue bar. I'll just put it back at the start for now. Now what I want to do is put in a title. Okay, and the way we put in a title, I'm just going to go down the bottom here. Next to where we made a new bin, you can actually make a new item. And one of those items you can make is a title. Okay, a box is going to come up just here. I'm going to ask you to make a new title. Just give it the name, maybe start title, so we know what it is. Don't have to change any of the settings. Just click on OK. And up comes a little window where you can start editing your titles. You see it's got a clip in the background. That's the clip that we've got in our sequence at the moment. That's just going to show you what it looks like if we put the text over the top of it. So basically, you've got your toolbox down the left-hand side here. Grab your text tool, which is the letter tool, uh, T there. Click on your page. It doesn't matter what size or color it is now, but we're going to write Caloundra in capital letters. And then on the next line, we're going to write Sunshine Coast do a vertical line and write Australia. Okay, now I'm just going to highlight all of that text by pressing Control or Command A if you're on a Mac. And you've got your settings up the top here where you can change these around. Okay, so 
what I might do, the top text I might just leave as a kind of bold text, and the bottom text I'm going to make a nice skinny one. Now the color's a bit ordinary as well, so while I've got everything highlighted, you can go over to the right hand side and play around with the properties. Okay, don't need to worry about transform, um, all properties. The fill section though, you can choose whatever color you want. Okay, so if I want to choose bright red, yeah, bright red text. It stands out nicely, but it doesn't really go with the beach theme I'm going for. So I might choose, say, a blue color for the top one. It's going to give it a kind of beachy theme, goes with the ocean and whatnot. And the bottom text I might change to, let's say, a yellow that reminds me of the sand. Something like that. Kind of looks good. Uh, what else can we do? I might move this around using my black arrow. I can center that text. Now it's cut off the screen here a bit. These arm lines you can see on the screen are actually safety margins, and it's best to keep your uh, text inside of those, so I might just resize my text so it's sitting inside of them, and I might make the word colander a bit bigger so it looks a bit nicer, so I might stretch it out a little bit first of all, a bit of space between each letters, let's just change this one here, the kerning, uh, we'll change the size by playing with that lever there, try and make it roughly the same width as the yellow text. That's starting to look a bit nicer now, so it's just a matter of getting it into a good position so we can read it okay. I might leave it in the center and try putting a shadow on it. So over here on the right in the title properties, we can put a shadow behind that text. And you can play around with the angle, the distance, and all that sort of jazz to see what works and what doesn't. So we'll just have a little bit of a play with those. But basically that little black shadow behind the text does help it stand out a bit. Alrighty, so that's a pretty good looking title. I'm happy, pretty happy with that actually. So when you're done, you don't have to save it or anything. All you need to do is just close that box. Okay, and you'll see that the title appears over here with all your other items. So that can be picked up now and dropped into your titles folder. So now in my titles folder, I've got the start title. And if I've, I want to go back and edit it, all I have to do is double click on it and the edit box will come back up and I can re-edit that. Okay, but for now I think I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to pick that title up and drag it over to my timeline. Now I want it to go on top of the video, okay, so they're both being played at once, so what I'm going to do is drag that onto the video 2 layer. Okay, so I've got my actual video on the bottom layer, it's a video 1 layer, and on top of that I've got my title. So now I've got both the title and the video playing at the same time. Okay, so let's just play that and have a test run, you see your scrubber runs through there. It's actually pretty good timing. As soon as that title disappears, the pan starts with the camera. And it just starts panning across. So that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do next is bring in some music. I think it's a little bit empty without that music. So, over in my bins over here, I'm going to look for the audio bin and find the G uh, Deep Joke Truth file. That's the name of our song. I'm going to pick that up and simply drop it on the A1 or the Audio 1 layer. So let's just pick up that and drop it down on the Audio layer. Alrighty, so let's go back to the start and have a listen. We'll see if it starts how we want it to start. Okay, not bad, but there was a little bit of a pause at the start there. So what I'm going to do is actually chop off the start of that music. So I'm going to zoom in using my scrub bar here. I'm going to try and work out when this music kicks in. Alright, so around that one second mark, you can see the one second mark up here, or you can read your blue playhead position over here, it will tell you when that music starts. So I might chop about that much off. Okay, there's a few ways to chop up your audio tracks. One way I'm going to show you is over here in this little toolbox, you've got this little razor tool. You press the letter C to pick that up, or you can just go and click on that razor tool. And simply hover over that line where that playhead is, and click on it once, and that cuts that audio track into two sections. Okay, so you've got this little start section where there's no sound, and then the second section is when the sound kicks in. So I'm going to grab the black selection tool now, and click on that first little track, and simply press the delete key, and that will delete it. Now I can pick up the rest of my audio track, and just move it back to the start of the timeline. Now we should have music starting almost straight away when we press play. Let's have a listen. That's better. All 
All right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to zoom back out a little bit here. Okay, that's looking good. What we might do now is bring in a couple of extra videos. I'm going to try and get it in time with this music the best we can. Okay, I was doing a few calculations before. Um, this first video we've got here, I wanted to go for around 7.17 seconds. So, so about that point there is roughly where it's going to end. I'll just make sure that that looks pretty good around that area. It sits for a while, starts the pan. Okay, I'm trying to keep in beat or in time with the music here. So that point right there is when a new beat starts in the song. So I'm going to grab my razor tool again and cut it at that point. Okay, and using my black arrow tool in the same toolbox there, I'm going to delete the second part of that clip. Okay. What I'm going to do now is bring in the second clip. Okay, and there's a bit of a trick to this. The second clip we're going to add in is called King's Boat, I think. Where are we? Yep, there it is, King's Boat. So it's a picture of a boat off the ocean there. So what I'm going to do is pick that up and drag it over. Now if I was to put it straight in like that, you can see that the audio from the boat would delete some of the um, music track. So what I'm going to do is just move it up to the second layer for a moment. Okay, so we've got the audio down on this track layer here, on audio track layer number two, and that way it doesn't affect our music. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Looks good, but the sound of the ocean sounds bad with that music. So we need to unlink the video and the audio layers here and delete that audio layer. So on the King's Boat video here, just right click on it, unlink them, and go and select the audio track and delete it. Okay, now that's deleted, you can bring this King's Boat back down to the video one layer so it snaps onto the King's View, so they're pretty much connected now. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. So we don't have that issue again. What I'm going to do is pick up this music track and actually put it down on the bottom layer here, on the Audio 3 layer. So that's our music track down there, and it's just going to be playing the whole way through this clip. We shouldn't have to um, move that again down there now. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good. The other clip I need to bring in shortly is the Bullcock Ships and Paddlers. Okay, so let's just scroll along our timeline, or you can just zoom out a little bit. And if we look up here, we've got this file called Bullcock Ships and Paddlers. What we might do is bring that down and drop it onto the video one layer. And you can see now that the audio is on the audio one layer. It's not affecting our music track at all. With this one, I want you to right click on it and unlink it again and just delete that audio track. We don't want it there again. All right, we're going to do that for every video we bring in. So get used to that. We're going to unlink them and then delete the audio track. All right, so let's um, have a look at this. I think this King's Boat clip goes for a little bit too long. Let's have another look. Going for too long. It's quite boring sitting there just watching that go on his boat for so long. We only want it to appear for a few seconds. So, using my calculation before, I had it cut off around the 11 second mark. So, that was somewhere around here. Let's have a look. Maybe around there would be a good spot to cut it. So, instead of using the razor tool this time, okay, I've got my playhead positioned at the right spot. Okay, what I can do is just hover over the end of this clip and you see a little red arrow appears. All you need to do is simply click on it and drag it to where you want that clip to chop off at. Okay, and you can see now that that's shortened my clip all the way to this blue playhead. That's nice and short. Now what I can do is pick up this Bullcock Ships and Paddlers video clip and snap it back in over here. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Oops, my video, my audio stopped. There we go. That's better. Now the start of this Paddler's clip is a bit dodgy. Okay, I think that start section where we're sitting over here, it's not very good composition. Okay, I prefer it when this boat's on the left hand side of the screen, so maybe over about here. Alright, so what I might do, when that pan stops, I'm going to cut that clip in half. 
Okay, so the clip stops panning about there. So what I'm going to do, instead of using my razor tool again, I'm just going to hover around the start of this clip, simply drag back to our blue playhead. Okay, and that just chops off the start of that clip. Now we can pick that clip up, drag it back on our timeline so it snaps in over here. Let's have a look at that now. All right, now when that music starts to kick in a bit more, you can hear the bass come in and it just starts to pick up a bit more volume. I'm actually going to cut the clip right there. Oops, looks like auto save was just taking place. So I think it's around this 15 second mark where you'll hear the music start to really kick in. Have a listen. There. Okay, that's the section where we want to cut this clip and switch to another new clip. Okay, I'm trying to keep this um, video in time with the music the best I can. So let's just try it one more time. Out there. Okay, I'm using the space bar to stop and start this playhead, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm pressing, space bar is a quick way to start and stop your videos. So I'm simply going to pick this up and just drag it back to that blue playhead. Okay, and now we're ready to put in the next clip. Now what I want to happen here, since we've had a little bit of music at the start for about 15 seconds, I actually want the narration to come in, or the voiceover, to tell me a little bit about Caloundra. Okay, so, before I put the video in, I might just go up to the audio for a sec and find the voiceover. Here it is. I'm going to bring that down and drop it on the Audio 2 layer. Okay, so three different audio layers here. Basically the Audio 1 layer is the sound from the videos. Audio 2 is going to be the narration or the voiceover, and Audio 3 layer is just the music. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the voiceover, drag it down, and I'm going to drop it right at the start of where that, oh, sorry, where that video ends, just here. Let's have a listen. Okay, you can probably see the problem. The music is drowning out the voiceover. Okay, so what we need to do around this section here Oops, just around here, is make the volume of the music drop right down so we can hear this voiceover. Okay, so the way we do that, we're going to go maybe a second just before the end of that uh, clip here, and we're going to start to fade that audio down. Alright, so this is where we're going to change the view of our screen. So I've got my playhead roughly in the right position where I want the music to start fading. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to click on my audio 3 track down here. So we've got our audio 3 track selected. Now you can either go up to editing up here and start to edit that track, or you can double click on it to edit. Okay, when you double click on it you can see the sound wave coming up. Okay, so after you double click on it, go to the effect controls tab here and you'll see that you can adjust the volume. Okay, so expand the little volume menu. And what we're going to do Hey, we need to just show this little timeline over here. Okay, I'm just going to show that timeline. This is a real zoomed in close up of this section of audio. That's where it gets a bit confusing, but basically once you've got your playhead in the right position, so I'm around the 13 second mark here, or 13.2 second mark, I'm going to hit this little diamond. You can see the level here. Come across from the level and hit that little diamond in there where it says add or remove keyframe. We're going to basically make a little keyframe here at that point. Okay, so this is the point when our audio starts to fade out. What I'm going to do now is just move this playhead over to the start of the voiceover track, which is about here. And I'm going to put in another keyframe. So go up and click the diamond again up here. So now we've got two keyframes. We've got the starting keyframe, and now I've just put in the second or the last keyframe. And at this point, I'm going to change the level of my volume. I'm going to put it to about minus 15 decibels. Okay, so right in that blue box there, just click on it and type in minus 15 and press enter. And now, between those two keyframes, we should hear our audio fade out. So I'll just play it and have a listen. Not bad. So that sounds pretty good. If you think that music's still a bit too loud, you just need to go back up to that keyframe. So I was around that point there. And we've got this keyframe up here. You can click on that keyframe. I just need to go across one more. 
there. But yeah, you can click on that little keyframe and select it. And where it says minus 15, you can drop it a bit more if you want. So maybe I'll go minus 18. I think minus 20 is a bit too quiet from memory. So let's have a listen. Calandra is an aquatic paradise. It's better. You and your family can enjoy a wide range of water activities like kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. All right, so that's looking good. I'm only going to do a little bit more, then I might stop the video. I feel like I should break this up into two parts, otherwise this video is going to go for a little bit too long. So what we're going to do in this voiceover, there's two sections to it. And what I want to do is split it in half. I want to have the first part play now, and the second part play a little bit later on. Okay, so we need to find that second part of the audio. So let's have a listen to it. It's an aquatic paradise where you and your family can enjoy a wide range of water activities, like kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. So after the word jet skiing, that's our cue to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to use the razor tool again to simply go and cut it at the playhead. And what you can do now is move that second piece of audio just further up your timeline. I'll just zoom out a bit here so we can see that. Just move it up your timeline somewhere. We're going to play with that section later on. So for now, we've just got this first little bit of narration. Okay, all we need to do now is just put a couple of videos over it. And then I think that will do us for this video. We can come back in the second part to finish off the rest of our movie. So I'm just going to zoom back in here by using this horizontal scroller. And after we put in the bullcock ships and paddlers, what we're going to do next is we're going to find the movie called King's Kayak Views. Okay, so at the moment we've got the effect control up here. Let's get rid of that by going to the assembly tab up here again. That just brings back all our bins. Look for the video clip bin, and as I said, we're looking for the King's Kayak Views. Okay, and when you go and drag... Oh, I've just realised that this audio is on the wrong layer. We need to drag this narration down one layer onto audio two. Okay, now we're right to drag on King's Kayak Views. All right, hopefully that didn't affect our audio further up. Oh. It's all good. You might want to drag that voiceover further up the timeline down onto the A2 or Audio 2 layer. All right, so now we've got the King's Views in here. Okay, remember to right-click on it before you do anything and unlink the video and the audio and just delete the audio that was attached to that clip. All right, so let's have a look at how this goes. Calandra is an aquatic paradise where you and your family can enjoy a wide range of water activities like kayaking, paddleboarding, winds. Alright, so at the start of that clip you might have seen our kayaker just sitting there doing nothing. Okay, he's a bit having a bit of a rest, I think. He's just sitting there floating around. It'd be nice if we had him actually paddling across the screen. So I'm just going to scrub through the video until I see him start paddling properly, which is about there. And I'm going to cut my video from the start over to that point. I want my video to start when he starts paddling. Okay, you can pick this up now and drag it back up the timeline. So it snaps on with the rest of it. Let's have another look. That's looking a bit better. Alright, so in my little narration here, I talk about other sports. Rather than just kayaking, I think I talk about paddle boarding and jet skiing. Alright, so what we might do is bring in probably a picture of a person on a stand-up paddleboard. I know I've got one of those clips here. So you can see the golden dash sup. So it's someone around at Golden Beach on a stand-up paddleboard. We might bring them in. Okay, so the kayak views, I think I had that going to about the 21 second mark. Somewhere around there, I think it was. So I might just cut the rest of that clip off. That's at the 2109 mark. Let's have a look. Alright, so when I say the word paddleboarding, we bring up this paddleboarding video. Alright, so simply drag it out of your video clip bin and drop it on your timeline. Now we've got this person paddleboarding. Remember, before we edit, we just want to right click on it and unlink the video and audio and just delete the audio layer. Alright, let's have a look at that. Kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. All right, so that's looking pretty good. After I um, finish that narration, might be a good idea to cut to the next video clip as well. I think that will probably do us for this video. Actually, I might make the volume just fade back in, and then we'll finish up for this video. So, 
be somewhere around there. Be pretty good. Might be able to just a little bit about the 25 second mark. So I'm just going to drag in the rest of that video just to crop it down. And that is the end of our golden sup footage. Let's have a quick look. Kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. All right, look good. So what we need to do now is just play some more clips of Calandra with the music coming back into full volume. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly, and then we'll move on to the next video. All right, so the next video in our series is going to be the golden jet ski close up. Okay, so we've got a picture of a jet or some footage of a jet ski at Golden Beach. Close up of it. Okay, I'm just going to unlink the video and the audio and delete the audio track like usual. All right, so at this point, just here, the narration finishes. What we want to do is make the volume of the music come back in to its full volume, or zero decibels it was. So I'll just find out when I finish talking. Windsurfing, fishing, and jet skiing. Yeah, so it's about that point right there. So what we're going to do with our playhead in the right position, we're going to click back down on our audio three layer and go back to the editing tab at the top. From there, you can play with the levels again. At the moment, it's minus 18 decibels. All right. If we just scrub back a little bit, maybe just about there, only half a second or so back, we're going to put a keyframe in. So hit that little diamond to add a keyframe. As we just go across a little bit further, maybe when the next clip starts, just right on that point there, we're going to add another keyframe pressing that little diamond and changing our volume back to zero. Okay, so between those two keyframes, we're at about minus 18 decibels there. And as we just scrub across, the music goes back up to its 100% volume, which is zero decibels. So let's have a listen to it fade back in. That's better. Now, I'll finish off this jet ski clip and that will do us. Okay, so the jet ski clip you might have noticed at the start was a bit wobbly. If I just go back to the start, I was trying to find the jet ski to focus on. It's a little bit wobbly there. Then we get into a smooth pan that tries to keep up with the jet ski. Alright, so I only want a few seconds of this, so I think the best few seconds were probably towards the start after I got into position, so we'll just scrub across. Be about about there would be a good start. So let's drag that over to position there. And we probably want this to go, well, I've got on my notes here, to about the 29.23 second mark. Which is around about there. So let's just cut it and we'll see if that looks any good. Alright, so I'll quickly play that. Looks good. Alrighty, so this video has already gone for half an hour, so I feel like I've babbled on quite a bit. Um, if you want to test that out, just go back to the start with your playhead, press play, and just make sure you've got the same as what I've got. Okay, it's a nice little title. The music is at 100% volume at the moment, or zero decibels. Pan across, we go to the next shot of the boat, and then we cut into some kayakers and paddleboarders with this big ship, and the narration. Calandra is an aquatic paradise where you and your family can enjoy a wide range of water activities like kayaking, paddleboarding, windsurfing, fishing and jet skiing. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, if yours is lagging a little bit when you do preview that, you might notice this red and yellow bar across the top of your timeline. Okay, what you need to do is try and get that bar green so your videos play through smoothly. Okay, so there's a few ways to speed up your videos. The first one is this way. Get your playhead back to the start and hit this little curly bracket here that is the mark in bracket. And scroll across to maybe when this yellow ends here, get your playhead in that position and choose the other curly bracket, the mark out option. And that just marks a section of your video. Let me just zoom out so you can see that. Okay, so this start section of our video now is marked. And what you can do is go up to the sequence menu at the top of your page. I know you can't see that on your on my screen right now, but you've got a sequence menu at the top. You just need to go down and render in to out. 
And what that's going to do is just render your files and speed them all up. Okay, it depends on the speed of your computer, whether this happens quickly or not. I'm happy with the speed of my computer today. This is actually going pretty quick. And you'll notice that these bars are starting to turn green as these videos are processed. And once it gets right to the end, they should all be green. You can play your video now, and it should be running through smoothly. Okay, you can then right click on the top of your timeline and just clear in and out. So those in and out points disappear. One other way to speed up your playback, at the moment I'm viewing my videos in full quality. Okay, you can actually drop it to half quality or even one quarter quality. And that will still play your videos, but just doesn't make your computer work as far. Uh, well, well, sorry, it doesn't make your computer work as hard. Alrighty, so that is another way to speed up the playback of your videos, maybe putting it at half speed. Oh sorry, at half half resolution. Alright, so I'm going to stop now. I said I've been um, going to stop for a while, but I will stop the video here, and in part two, we'll finish off this video.